guys! Thank you for watching Channel V! I'm Ruby here. So today I'm going to share with you some of my new purchase from Chanel. And this is the small bag here. And I have another one which is here. Ta -da! So yeah, it's called two at the same time. And today I'll be doing two at the same time for this review uh, of my unboxing. And yeah, my purchase was not at all in pause because for the past few days I've been looking and looking and I did some research. So what do you think? Should I do the unboxing for the small one first or for the bigger ones? What do you think? Um, let's start from the small one first. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so um, when I went into this, okay, before I start purchasing this item, I have to share with you, I have been constantly looking online reading online okay. so um i got this one so let's open up together so as usual they will have this hand up black paper bag and then they have a sticker over at opening so let me open it up Ta -da! Another one. I read some bloggers online. They actually like keep all the small little Chanel flowers. I'm not sure how you call it. So they were created with a lot of DIY. Like what Anne has told me, she has saw videos of people using these flowers to to do paper pins and uh, like um hair clips and all this. Uh, for me maybe not. But I will keep it just for for display. That's all. Not, not on me. <laughs> so let me remove this flowers from the packaging like this. Mm -hmm. And then the ribbon. And this is their ribbon. So the ribbon is just white base ribbon with the Chanel logos all over it chanel 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 and the chanel wording that is on it is actually embossed like you could feel the texture of the red chanel on it and then the flowers i put it aside and then this will be how a chanel box looks like so one wording fully black just a chanel wood in front that's all so let me open it up then all right and then once you open up there is this velvet fabric, like a puffed up velvet fabric, and there's a Chanel wood on it. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, a Chanel wording on it. Yeah, so its texture is a little similar like when you buy a Chanel um, makeup. So normally Chanel makeup, like before you get into the casing of the Chanel, there's actually a velvet casing over it, and there will be definitely like some wordings, like a Chanel, subtle wording which is on top like that yeah so it's really beautiful and then but this is actually puffed it. i'm not sure if you could see it's, it's puffed it. it's not like a tin paper and a tin velvet so it's a puffed it leather so when you open it up like this there will be another paper cushioning to protect the item that i've purchased a Chanel paper, mm, not properly cut. It. I'm not sure why they did not do it well, but yeah, it's not properly cut. It. I think it's kind of easy. So, uh, there is my Chanel brooch. Saw that? Is it beautiful? <laughs> so, yeah, this is my very first Chanel brooch. So I could actually just remove this entire fabric out from the casing. So it's easier for me to show you guys. So um, on this packaging, you could see like uh, there's two holes that for them to secure the brooch onto it like that. So and then with all these velvet things, it could help you protect. So let me sit closer so I could share with you more about this brooch. So, um, 
I'm not sure if there's a name for this brooch, I don't think so. But uh, a closer look at it, you can see it's like, they are like pearl shapes, styles and everything. So it's a very nice color combination. It's like, it's like a pearl white, silver, dark, grey, lighter tones of grey. There's a couple of colour and then uh, the side of it is si silver as well. So this is a very beautiful and um, it's like a couple of colour but it's the classic colour for, for Chanel. Not Chanel but it's a classic colour that's why uh, I got it. It's easy to match. And what was the actual reason that got me to... Okay, so for the back of it, let me show you. It's just one. Yeah, the opening. Let me show you. And then when you close it, and you turn over it. Yep, correct. So... Um, there are a couple of sizing for Chanel brooch. So for me, I prefer to take this size, a smaller sizing. They have a bigger version. So I got this. This is considered one of the cheaper version. For me, uh, I read quite a number of reviews on brooch. And that's the reason why I bought it. Actually, I buy, I like to buy a lot of basic clothing. Like top clothing, there isn't any prints. Very, very simple. And just a throw over a jacket like what I do now. So, but like with a Chanel brooch like this. Look, without, it just look like simple top that I'm wearing. But if I have the brooch over it, it's told, it creates a different look. You notice that? It just looks classier, prettier, and more prestige with a Chanel brooch. And um, I would not recommend people to get those um, of like small little beads and or small little beads, small little diamonds, small little uh, perk sort. Because I read a lot online as well as like YouTubers has been complaining about like Chanel earrings as well as like their brooch like it's not very durable over time the the poles and all this will just drop off even no matter how gentle they are using it but it just drop off and some of them that they actually provide some sort of tips will be like applying like the transparent translucent sort of um near polish over it to make it more durable to prevent the loss of of the beads and all this so to pre um so i think it's such a hassle so i got this it's more like a one bit piece so i had it doubt the the bits would drop and the essay has told me and just like what everyone else online has mentioned if you ever drop any item any of the small little details from the brooch then you will have to send back to the any of the international uh, Chanel store tell them what happened and they will send it back to to repair so this is my first brooch so I'm not sure if there's an any additional cost for the bits drop but I know it takes a really long time so uh, it normally takes like two weeks or even longer to two months to send to receive this back after it's being repaired and it's a hassle you see you have to bring it to a Chanel store you repair it two months uh, for them to repair two months later you have to come back to do a collection and if again if you wear it it drop and the same thing repeat so how many two months do you have just for a stupid brush so for me I prefer to go for something like that and brush is not something that I will wear it for every day thing you see so I do not see there's a need for me to spend too expensive so I go for the lower range in terms of the approach but it's a good sizing I do not like the good next are you guys excited I'm going to unbox a bigger one! So there's a ribbon on the handle for a bigger uh, chains, a bigger packaging from Chanel. So let me remove the ribbon as usual. It's the same sort of ribbon that they have used for my brooch that I put it on the right now. And then... Are you guys ready? <laughs> so, oh yeah, 
before I move on. So for them, it's like all my receipt. I will have this um, Chanel. Could you see there's a Chanel wedding as well as the uh, prominent logo on the top? Yeah. So this is the receipt booklet. Yeah. So uh, I received two because I purchased them separately from the same SA but uh, and from the same store. Reason being why I purchased it separately it was because after I purchased my huge one, then I saw the brooch. <laughs> so I have to sign my card again, the second one. So yeah. Ta da! Yep, this is my Chanel, new Chanel one. Ta da! Are you guys able to guess like what color and choices that I go for? <laughs> so as usual, on the first day we'll have the flowers. Let me unplug it. Ta -da! And then the ribbon. So it's a long Chanel ribbon. Same sort of ribbon. Oh no, it's slightly bigger. Look at the dimension of this. As well as this, see, is a different weave in terms of the ribbon size. Side. So for the box, they actually use a bigger weave ribbon. And then this is the Chanel box. Oops. Yep. So the texture for the brooch and this is different. Okay. So let me show you. Let me do a quick one so you can compare on it. All right. So for the brooch, right, you look at the packaging, the box is actually totally matte. But when you look at this, you saw? Yep. So uh, it's, it's a different sort of uh, material. When you touch on it, it's slightly more friction. This is more smooth. Yep. So it's a different sort of uh, box that they use in terms of material. Are you excited? <laughs> Let me open up for you guys. So, ta -da! So, ah, yeah. So, this is it. So, this, they have a booklet over here. Let me place it here. So, I'll show you. And then, this is the hair tips. Yeah. And then, um, they come with two shoe dust bag, black color. With the Chanel logo at the front only. Yes, I know I'm a shoe freak. I love shoe a lot. And um, I'm happy to tell you guys that I managed to influence my best friend Anne to buy quite a number of shoes. So now she's also a shoe freak number two. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is how it looks like for Chanel. And then uh, styrofoam sort of uh, packaging. To protect it, then after that, the paper, styrofoam, paper, paper. Ta-da! So this is the new boots that I, I got. I have to be very honest with you. This was the only boots that I have eyes on for this whole season. I I went into a lot of other brands to look for alternative. I mean, I, I do have some videos and all this I could show you later, like uh, of other brands that I've been looking and none of them actually, I think it's suitable for me, my, my kind of feeling. And moreover, uh, most of the time, I'm actually staying in Singapore, which is a very humid and hot country. So literally, there is no need for me to own a pair of like luxury boots. But I really wanted something good. It's just like everyone who mentioned that if you buy something branded and of a good quality, it lasts you for very, very long. And if you get the classic design like what I normally do, like, I don't think Chanel has a classic, classic boots design. But what I mean by classy, it means that like something that it will never be out of fashion. Like firstly, black. It will never be out of fashion when you're buying that expensive. And... And also, it will be very, 
how should I say? Like, um, firstly, it's black, it's classic, and then Chanel. They're very, very uh, famous for their comfortable shoes. So looking at this, I did not purchase a very tall heels for my boots. This is actually what was stated at the base. Let me see. The base it has stated is actually 245 mm. I think it's more of the shorter version kind of heels. Yeah, I think this is probably 2.5 inch. Yeah. So this is how it looks. Am I holding him the right way? Yeah, the wrong way. So uh, it's a mixture between um, leather as well as lambskin. All right. So where is the leather? Where is the lambskin? Let me show you. So this is actually patent. So it's shiny. It's slightly more shiny. And then the main body over here, this is actually lambskin, which is perfect. So it's actually more comfortable. And I think the other side, you saw there's another cut over here. So this side is also landskin, and then on top there's a Chanel logo, a back zip, and on the back zip is a leather puller, like what you could see here, but there isn't any Chanel logo on it. It's disappointing. I was hoping that there would be a Chanel wording on the puller, but no. So it's actually quite easy to, to, to actually pull up and down, like what you could see. But I do not like um, leather zip for my boots to be too smooth reason being if it's too smooth if I, I would just have this mentality it would slip off easily it's not like back anytime you could just open and close that easily you have to bend down to close it so I prefer something that is, is slightly harder it's not very very smooth but it's, it's perfectly fine so what I like is that look at the 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 heroes yeah it's very beautiful and then it's metallic it's not pearl but then there's a Chanel logo inside and then the heels is actually I think it's in calfskin so this is actually black and all the way to the bottoms could you see it's actually changes in color it looks like dark brownish red it's pretty similar to my Longchamp bag that sort of brown yeah brownish red and then um at the base so the base is actually smooth black base and then there's a chanel logo at the bottom could you see it yeah chanel logo and then indicate made in italy and my sizing okay this is actually a true fit sizing so um as i always mention i'm size 37 right but because if you're buying a boots I will go half size bigger because I would ne need to wear socks within. So 37.5 with, with socks will be a perfect sizing for me. And then at the bottom, they have a sticker indicating 245mm. I'm not too sure what it means, but I don't think it's the height, right? It might be the... Not too sure. So, yep. Yeah. So this is a 245mm. Here's, I guess and then so you can see it's a layering over here at the side so i kind of like this a lot so this is how it looks in a pair and what actually got me really excited to purchase it is because of the teen heels normally for boots wise uh and I do not I do not have a chance to wear boots like nearly every day back in Singapore. So when I wear it, I want to have own a pair of boots that is sexy. So for those that actually has a thicker kind of heels, it it does not give me that sort of feeling. So but for this pair of shoes, it does. So it makes me very happy to own it. And when I try it, it's extremely comfortable. I've not like literally wear it for hours outdoors. So I'm not able to vouch that it will be that comfortable. But when I was in store walking on the carpet and non-carpet uh, flooring, I think it's really comfortable. Maybe because of the, 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 the start of this shoe. It's actually more round as compared to the V ones. So for the actually V ones, I would not recommend if you're going for to places that actually do not have very comfortable sort of flooring 
it might be tiring to wear something that is v-shaped unless you're driving all around then it's perfectly fine so um and other than that it's like did i mention that there's a silver lining at the front here so oh it's very comfortable it's lambskin and yeah the cut was good i tried other boots as well in chanel they are really pretty as well um the heels are actually thicker so it's less sexy in my terms and and it's also not that comfortable so that's the reason why i got that um i'm still contemplating whether should i get their flats as well because everybody was saying that it's classic it's pretty for their chanel uh flats ballerina flats Um, I'm not sure because um, yesterday when I went into AMS, so I saw another pair of shoes that I like it a lot. When I wear it, it looks extremely, extremely elegant. I'm going to show a picture over here for you guys to take a look. So, not here, maybe here, so that it will not block my Chanel boots here. <laughs> yep, so I'll show you here. So this is a pair of uh, AMS uh sandals with heels that i'm actually interested in um in terms of comfort level just like what i read online uh i think it's just for the brand so it's not at all comfortable comfortable it will not bring you to million miles walking in it it will not make you feel even better along the way no but uh the overall look is really classy and the color which is more of like cream cream color cream white so it's very matching to my skin tone so i'm still contemplating whether should i get it even though it's not a very comfortable pair of scissors so yep that's all for today so thank you very much for watching my channel i hope it will be useful for you guys when you're choosing for your first pair of chanel boots or first pair of luxury boots and also for brooch so if you have any questions or anything that you would like to share with me please drop a feedback down below and if you like me my video hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel because not only me and has so much to share with you guys so that's it for today bye, -bye.